What's up everybody, Jeremy Vesey here, and today we're gonna to go over adding a rough texture to our type. So I have some custom type here, and I also added a typeface in, and the entire point of this video is to try to make the two cohesive with each other. So let's jump into it. Okay, so here's the custom type that I created, and I added a typeface in here just to finish it off, and the entire point of this is to try to create a cohesive look between the two typefaces. And we're doing this with a roughening look. So first things first, we're going to actually round all this type. But before we do that, I'm just going to select the type and I'm going to press Shift Command O. And that's going to make everything outlined. Now I'm going to select it again and we're going to go up to the Pathfinder tool and it's already selected in here. And let's just unite these. Perfect. So now that these are united, we're going to go up to the Window tool or sorry, we're gonna go up to the effect tool and we're gonna use a Gaussian blur. Now let's just preview this. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna adjust the settings a little bit, maybe down to 14.5. Let that take effect. Press OK. Great, so when we zoom in here, we can see that everything is rounded. And what this is going to do when we vectorize it is it's going to give it a nice inky rounded effect and I already went over this in a previous video but we're actually this time around we're going to add a roughening effect to it as well so let's go to object and we'll press rasterize just keep the settings at white great now we're gonna go up to image trace and I'm just gonna press sketch dart Awesome, so now we have this rounded effect on both the typeface that we typed out and the custom type. And it's making a little bit more cohesive with each other. So now from here, I'm just gonna go to the image trace panel and I'm going to slide this back and forth on the threshold and see if it looks better with a higher threshold or a lower threshold. And I'm thinking just where the settings were before were fine, so now I'm just gonna press expand. All right, that's looking good. So now what we're going to do is I'm just gonna zoom in, and we're gonna go up to Effect, Distort, Transform, and press Roughen. We wanna keep the preview on for here, so that looks crazy. So we're just gonna go over here to Absolute, and it really depends on the size of the file. Um, but you adjust these settings back and forth with the preview and you'll be able to come up with the one that works best for you. So typically, I'm thinking that this could use a little bit more roughening. I'm just gonna open up the, all right. Now you can slide the detail back and forth and what that does is it makes it so that there's either more detail in the roughening or you can make it so that it's a little bit more natural and I kind of like to keep it on the low end so that it looks a little bit more inky rather than this crazy kind of jittery look all right so let's try that out all right that's looking great so basically in this tutorial I just wanted to be really quick I wanted to show you how you could make it inky and then you could also then roughen it to give it a hand-drawn look. And if you look at the, the custom type and the typeface, they now match each other aesthetically. And that's how you can take a typeface that one might be rounded and another one might be more of like a hard edge. And you can give the same effects to the whole thing so that the entire logo looks like it was done together. And that's the whole point of this. So now I'm just going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance, and there you have it. So let's just change the color on this to see if there's a difference, which I do, but all right, change the background color to black. And I'm gonna change the type to a gray. So there you have it, a roughened look that uh, makes everything that you put together, whether it's an icon, whether it's an illustration, you know, maybe, maybe a line illustration mixed with the type, you put it all together, you add these effects over top of it, and it looks like it was all drawn by the same hand. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and just let me know if there's anything you want to know.